Okay, so this is part two of the Hilo game. Uh, in this version of the game, I'm going to input a number and the computer's got to guess our number. Now, there's different ways of doing this, so I'm going to go through a series of these. Um, each one will have its own video. So let's explore the first, the first method. Right, um, this was the original code, but I'm going to start from the ground up. So we are going to keep... Um, we are going to keep a couple of things here. Uh, the CPU is still going to be guessing numbers, and we're still going to be inputting numbers. Uh, we don't need to guess this part either. Okay, so there's nothing there's nothing different there from that respect. What's going to be different is actually our is actually our for loop. Right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is the, the computer's guessed the number. Let's let's check to see if the number matches ours. So uh, while the player number is not equal to the CPU number. Right. While it's not the same, all we need to get the computer to do, we can get the computer to print their guess. So we can say something like CPU guess is, well, let's do that. CPU guess is, and then we'll just put their number in um, as a percentage i, and we'll say CPU. Uh, number that's what it's called okay so we're going to print the guess but then what we're going to do is we're going to get the computer to guess a new random number okay and this is going to end when um, the CPU gets it right so we'll actually just copy that so it will eventually just print the correct number um, and that's it that this should work right so I'm going to say 50 and the computer is going to just keep guessing um, until it gets it right so let's find out how many guesses the computer actually took because I can't be bothered to read that. So what we're going to have is something like uh, a variable called guesses. And that's going to be equal to um, 1. And every time the computer guesses a new random number, we're going to just say guesses plus equals 1. And at the end, we're going to print another message saying CPU guessed in percentage i guesses and we will put there the guesses variable. So this time I've done it, uh, you know, like in part 1.2, I use a list to generate the number of guesses. This time I'm just using a variable. So you can just see the two different methods there. So let's do it again, 50. And this time it took the computer 50 guesses, 50 again. This time 201 guesses. And you'll see in here there's a lot of repeated numbers. So although the computer eventually does get it, it may not get it actually using the round number, it does eventually get it. It's a very simple program to code, but there, more, there are more efficient ways of doing it, and we'll explore those in the next few videos.